That's dangerous. That was well, hanging hurt. around for a long time. Houston slaps it back. Rosie again. How's the kick weighted? But did enough, but wasn't enough to stop Port Adelaide's charge. And Georgiades in the right place. Salutes with the first goal. A bit of debris left in his way for so long as Butters got busy again and Marshall presented well was able to take it now Rosie started to bend the back get that shape that's so familiar Houston can fire within range and he allowed for the breeze and then just ripped out of the air by Dersma so there's the difference the class is a pretty good mark knowing that the ball's always coming his direction and does what he needed to do Xavier Dersma puts it through 11 games moving on the mark Oh, you can't let that happen. For a handball to aim on. And it's dropped short enough for that mark to be paid. Georgiades. This guy there to take the absolute opening batting and... Oh, no, oh. he's square, so he's able to keep it low. Oh. Oh. It's a, it's a triple kick. <laughs> yeah, he's just... Sloan lost his balance. Boak. Amon was hunting, then he turned tackler. Great tackle. Yep, yeah, and he might get the free for it. Which I prefer this way. Yeah, so do I. It's a great tackle. Yeah. Amon, who surprisingly for a beautiful kick, doesn't have such a great record in front of goal, but Lovely he's able to slot that one. Ten goals, 14 last year. Jumped up to finish fourth in the best and fairest after being tenth for the other four. And Josh Sin has got to start for Port Adelaide in this second half. Yeah, I think the plan Starting always was win. for him to play the second half, yep. so we'll get to see him action as they sweep forward. Good depth on the kick from both, just the right measurement for this man, Butters. Shuffles over the 50 to take the shot. He's allowed pretty nicely for the breeze and sends Port Adelaide back into the lead. Every kick out of the back line is going straight down the line here. There must be a time where they actually try and bite the piece off and come in board to break the line up. Otherwise, they keep standing behind and marking it. Let's see, Burton's got the touch. He has. Ah, that's a better kick right there from Burton. Good touch. He's capable of kicking a big bag. We've seen that a few times. That's more like it as he caresses it through. The Port Adelaide's second goal of the third term and his first. Davis was out there as well, just doing a bit of ball work, getting his hands ready for his first crack at it. Oh, there's Jeremy Finlayson, can bounce one through. It's a drop kick. He's sneaky like that. He's very <laughs> sneaky. A rolling drop kick. <laughs> he just finds, you know, when Ruck tap outs, he'll be up against somebody 20 kg. Oak. First eyes on him, the way he got to his feet and got balanced and kicked it deep, putting the pressure on and allowing Georgiades to fly. So Mitch Georgiades to extend Port Adelaide's lead. Get it out to 14 points, which he does with no problems there. Got a stronger performance, obviously, from Port in this third term. Houston with good touch to Jonas and then to Jones and stretches out that hand pass. Allows him to get all the way out to the wing and now beyond is Drew with the forward hand pass. Marshall sends them up and they're up and over the top and guess who's got out the back? It's Jeremy Finlayson. And one more and Rosie can cruise into goal and finish it off. So that's about a coast to coast from Port Action. They're wrong side again, yeah. Hello. Yeah. 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 He's on the charge, Boak takes the kick up into the arc. In fact, he thinks he can go the whole journey. Was there interference on Rosie? There was. Yeah, you see how the Crows pushed up hard, thinking we got a kick going our way, and they're just wrong-footed them when it got smothered off the mark. That's Once again, that's a little bit of class. And ever so casually, Rosie kicks it into the streets outside. To be safe of the next one if it turns over. There's a shot to... Oh, oh, hang on. oh time oh, ran out. McEntee's pounced. And he'll enjoy that. The handball going now. Keys has got a lot of work to do because there was Port Adelaide players everywhere. Sin got involved. Jones to the outside. Dersma was able to get onto his right foot just as that far enough. How good was Jones in? Then? Still averaged 27 disposals and six clearances last year. And he slots another one for Port Adelaide. They've put their stamp on this game in the third term with the breeze. That's eight goals now, an eight-goal quarter. They've been drifting since halftime. 
Someone got excited. Oh! Don't waste it. <laughs> well, he has, Georgianis. He's <laughs> taken a cracker in the square as the ball held up. A few more last year come through who you've just got to be ready for each week, don't you? Yep, if you just yep. take a big grab like that. <laughs> that doesn't surprise <laughs> Wines. Houston. And there's a charge down tackle. Oh, no, has it gone the other way? Oh, they've sent it strip down around the ankles. Run with roll or, or give you propulsion out there. He's going to get 20 to 30, somewhere in there of class football. So he puts it through and back beyond five goals. Do, do you have a preferred position for Houston or do you think... Yeah. Is it a, too aggressive or...? It could have been 50, you know, too, under the... Yeah, exactly. Rules. Marshall pops up to take the mark. But Marshall. Tough kick. It'll take a really good execution here. Oh, well done. He knew exactly the line and leak. Perfect shape. He'll clock up to 30 possessions. Uh, Butts let him lead him up there and it tailed off. Quick kick and at the back, Boat will either let it go or put it through himself. Which he does. It's big from Burton. I think 30 disposals, Hutto. Yep. Playing off half-back. 